Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic, and today we're going to be talking about another amazing article from Dork Side of the Force, this time by the author J.W. And it says, Star Wars rumors Kathleen Kennedy's time at Lucasfilm nearing an end? Question mark. Well, this is something that all of us have been saying for a while now because, again, you don't have a $200 million loss in a film and have no repercussions for that. You don't have all of these rumors leaking without there being something to them. And so now it even seems like people people like Dorkside are starting to cover this in a way where it's not just totally making fun of it. It's interesting because uh, Dorkside of the Force did a article, I want to say it was last week or maybe even two weeks ago, where they talked about this very rumor and just crapped all over it because it's, it's totally unsubstantiated, it's not real, but it looks like the tone might be changing. Who knows? Let's actually dive into the article itself. So, he says, the Star Wars rumor onslaught continues, this time with the future of Kathleen Kennedy, who may be on her way out as president of Lucasfilm. Again, Pretty confident this is going to happen. Some people are saying that it's not going to happen officially until the fall, but don't like don't get confused by this because there are some people who are trying to spin it saying the only reason why she would step down is because it's her choice. She's not going to be pressured out. She's not going to do anything. No, I'm sorry, but she is going to be asked to leave and whether or not they do that as a public I'm stepping down to try and save face or whether or not they just quietly fire her and she disappears, I don't know. They probably will do the, you know, they'll probably do the latter where they'll, you know, talk about how great she's been for the company, and they'll talk about how wonderful she's been for Star Wars, how she, you know, led the rebirth of Star Wars with The Force Awakens and all these other things, just to try and stay face on it, but that's what I think is going to happen. It's probably going to happen in the fall, if it's going to happen at all, again, in a public way. So, he continues, one could, be, uh, one could be forgiven for thinking that every day brings another series of speculations about the state of Lucasfilm and the status of the Star Wars franchise in general. Movie projects are shuffled around, postponed, and your favorite characters are said to be appearing in unusual places. So, again, just commenting on his own articles, commenting on Dorkside's own articles, just trying to basically say, oh, we hear these rumors all the time, you know, there's not always something to them, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. So let's see what he actually goes in. Well, get your salt shakers at the ready because we've got one more rumor report for you. This from popular YouTube film critic and commentator Grace Randolph of Beyond the Trailer. So Grace Randolph has actually been on fire recently. She's been doing a lot of really great videos, including one where she does talk about how her, according to her sources, they are talking at Lucasfilm that Bob Iger is mad that Bob Iger wants Kathleen Kennedy gone and it's interesting that Dork Side of the Force because Grayson Randolph is a huge channel is a mainstream channel channel who very pretty much played by the mainstream playbook for a very long time it seems that that has given her enough credibility where there are people like Dork Side who are actually taking her seriously which I find to be very interesting seeing that people have been saying the same thing now for a while and just because they weren't as high profile they just decide to crap all over him but when it's Grace, Rand Grace Randolph you know, there seems to be a little bit more respect. All right, so, citing unnamed sources inside of Pinewood Studios, where most Star Wars films are shot, Randolph states that a recent conference call was held between Disney's head honcho Bob Iger and the whole Lucasfilm top brass. Uh, of a wide array of topics covered, the changing out of Kathleen Kennedy as head of Lucasfilm was high on the docket. Absolutely it will be, because again, she is the face of the company, she is the one who is greenlighting all these decisions, and she is the one that led to, once again, the $200 million minimum loss of Solo. Not to mention everything else that's happened since then, because everyone's going to say, oh, but what about all the money it's made? Yes, but it's been on the steady decline. In fact, I want to give a shout out to someone on Twitter who recently sent me and tagged me into a into a, uh, a post where he actually broke this down even further. So I actually do want to pull it up. Sorry for the, the, the little offhandness of this, but I do want to give him credit because I think it's really interesting the way that he breaks this down. Again, he loves math and he loves doing graphs. So Castell and Fry, thank you very much for you know, for tagging me in this. Uh, this is the char chart that he came up with. So basically talking about profit minus cost and just breaking everything down from the main saga films, anthology films, you know, there's his, you know, math on the side, there's his equations, and basically you see that there is this steady decline over time, and so therefore, if you look at the main saga films, and you see that there's going to be minimum 35% loss, you know, maybe, you know, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, and then for the anthology films, a 65% loss, you know, comparatively to, you know, obviously we had a billion dollars with uh, Rogue One, and we had not even $400 million for Solo. So it's a very interesting graph. So please check it out for yourself. Again, that is Castellan Fry on Twitter. So I definitely recommend him. I recommend that you check him out. Show him some love because uh, he's awesome on Twitter. And also he did, a, he did a lot of work on this. So please go check that out if you're interested in that. But I just wanted to give him a shout out. So Castellan Fry, you're an awesome guy. All right, so... 
Moving on from that, though, apparently Iger has been displeased with the currently disharmonious state of the Star Wars Union and is looking to find new blood in an effort to reconnect with the spurned core fan base. The stated goal, returning the Jedi to full four-quadrant appeal. Absolutely. So, again, it's interesting that now they're talking about the core fan base when in reality... Every single article that they posted up until then, not just at Dorkside, but everywhere else, says, oh, it's a very small group of people. Oh, it's this very minor group that has no impact. Well, now it seems like they can't say that anymore, especially now that we have Grace Randolph actually saying something about it as well. Randolph states, however, that uh, that of the many persons approached to take the reins of Lucasfilm, J.J. Abrams among them, nobody stepped up to the plate. Well, of course, who would want to do that? Who would want to step up to the plate? Who would want to take on that responsibility? I mean, Kathleen Kennedy has just run Star Wars into the ground. Who wants to actually take part to try and build it back up? They have so much to get through. They have so much. <laughs> they need to get on the good graces of so many fans because, again, people will say, well, why should they care about the fans? Well, it's the fans that go see the films. Not just once, but twice, three times, four times, buy all the merchandise, buy the Blu-rays, all that stuff. So if you piss off the fans, if you make the fans angry, if you attack the fans, which is what everyone at Lucasfilm has been doing lately, then yeah, you're not going to do well. You're going to start losing money, not just in the films like we've seen with Solo, but also there have been people who've, brought, who've been broke, breaking down the uh, merchandise sales, and those have just been plummeting. The Blu-ray sales for Last Jedi are, are coming out every single day, you know, every single week that's been updated, and it's just almost like it's 50% less than what The Force Awakens did. So it's, it's awful. The state of Star Wars is really bad right now, and that's why you have also all these rumors coming out that they're putting all the other projects on hold, which makes a lot of sense. It's the reason why they're trying to bring people like Ewan McGregor into Episode Nine, where they're trying to get the original Lando Calrissian back in, you know, Billy Dee Williams. They're trying to get him back into it as well. But guess what? That is not going to be enough if you do not change the person at the top, if you do not change people like Ryan Johnson, if you do not change people in the story group, who, again, are attacking the fans. You do not sell a product if you're going to attack the people that you're trying to sell it to. That's just terrible marketing. That's terrible business strategy. Like, that's Business 101, do not attack the people that you're trying to sell the product to. All right, uh, additionally, the subject of Obi-Wan Kenobi was discussed. Uh, and a retroactive consensus uh, reached that an Obi-Wan film uh, should have bowed before Solo Star Wars story. I mean, anyone could have told you. Any any general fan could have said, no, I'd much rather see an Obi-Wan film than a Solo film. This is a surprise of very few fans anywhere exactly. It's also stated that the back and forth as to whether or not Obi-Wan will grace our screens continues uh, pace as the execs at Lucasfilm still reeling from the fall of Solo. Yeah, again, that's pretty much the only thing they can do at this point. The only thing they can do is try and throw as many faces out because they've killed Luke Skywalker, so maybe they might try and retcon it. Maybe they might try and say, oh, he transported somewhere, or oh, he's a Force ghost, or maybe that, oh, he's so powerful with the Force that he can, you know, reincarnate himself or something like that. I mean, I think it'd be, I think a few of those things would just really be stupid, but that might be what they have to do because they have to market it. So I think when the trailers start to come out for this film, there's going to be a reference to Luke Skywalker. There's going to be a reference to you know Lando Calrissian, even though I don't think that's the biggest pop that you could have. But there's definitely also going to be a pop, or rather a, a reference to Hugh McGregor, because that's pretty much the only ace in the hole they have left is to be able to tie in the prequels to the uh, the to not only the original trilogy but also now the new trilogy as well. But even then, I don't think it's going to be enough. Again, until they're able to replace someone at the top, until they're able to put someone at the top who loves Star Wars, who loves the Star Wars universe, and also who loves the Star Wars fans, they're not going to get anywhere. Because as long as you have Ryan Johnson, Kathleen Kennedy, Pablo Hidalgo, Chuck Wendig, you know, people who are involved in the books, TV, movies, all these people who are attacking the fans, who are mocking fans, who are just honestly just not happy with the state of Star Wars. Again, it's not that, it's not, <laughs> that's what the biggest problem to me is, is that there, there are people who are just coming out saying, this is how I feel, I'm frustrated, I want something better, I am willing to back projects like Ivan Ortega, who's, you know, recutting The Last Jedi, I'm willing to back projects of people who want to, like, reshoot The Last Jedi, make remake the entire Last Jedi, you know, which is getting a lot of traction as well. Again, you have Ryan Johnson, who's making fun of that, uh, by saying, oh, yes, please, please do that, and you have all these people attacking them, so of course, like, you are just making it worse for yourselves. Ryan Johnson, Ryan Johnson especially, he is now just essentially dug his own you know, cinematic grave as far as the Star Wars universe is concerned. There is no way that he is going to be getting the trilogy now because he has just totally soured himself with a lot of the fan base and definitely enough to where he's, his, his films will not make a bud, like would not make a profit. At this point, his films would not make a profit. Now, episode nine, I think at this point, I think it will turn a slight profit, at least break, break even. Now, if they keep going in this direction, if Kathleen Kennedy is still in charge by 2019, if they keep going in this direction, attacking the fans, mocking the fans, ignoring the fans, then episode nine will be a loss. Not Maybe not as much of a loss as uh, Solo was, but a financial loss nonetheless. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Dork Side is just totally off the, you know, off their rocker? Do you think Grace Randolph is right? Do you think that her sources are being, you know, are accurate? Have you seen that video? Let me know in the comments below. Again, all we can say for sure, though, is Kathleen Kennedy's time is indeed up. It is time for her to go, and they would be stupid. They would be totally stupid if they did not take care of it, if they did not 
replace her and did not replace her with someone who loves Star Wars. So thank you all guys very much for joining me. Hit that like button if you like this video. Share it as well. It just definitely helps me out. And also smash that subscribe button. I would so greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.